motorcycle here is a 1946 FL, which is a 1200 cc, a 74 cubic inch. The reason it's mostly black is after World War II, most of the chroma bright work and uh, other shiny parts were going to Cadillac and Lincoln. So this bike here is principally black. And this bike here does have the 49 accessory handlebars with risers, which these are a factory option. Very little chrome as you can see. <clears throat> this bike here I actually cheated and put late model Chevrolet points in and actually a belt driver which is hidden also. Now, the next motorcycle belongs to my friend Bob Provencia. This bike here is also an FL model which is 74 cubic inch, 1200 cc. And this one here, as you can see, has more chrome on it which is starting to uh, come into vogue and availability after World War II had finally been over and material was now offered to the motorcycle manufacturers. So Bob has the rosettes on the seat and the deluxe seat and Bob has the chrome rims. Intricate to this 46 and later is the shock absorber versus a, a ride control. And the both of these bikes have it. Uh, it was actually an option in 46. Uh, we'll move along to the next bike. This little shroud with a light, and what this would do is tell the rider if his headlight's on or not, because this bulb would reflect off of the reflector inside the headlight. Yes, these are original style lenses, glow bright lenses, in that order. Reds, green, amber. And that was how they came from the factory in that configuration. Now, I'll bring it to the other side briefly. Doug also has accessory air cool units on the top, which would help to cool an air cool plug. And this shifter knob is found in the Enthusiast magazine, the Enthusiast being Harley Davidson's publication. And that is actually an accessory that showed up on the in the magazine, mm -hmm. unique to it. So this bike, the accessories are just tremendous to see them all in one place.